Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trail and Kale, and this is my On Cloud Surfer Trail review. Now, if you've read or watched my On Cloud Surfer review, then you already know that I really love the Cloud Surfer. It's gone through its ups and downs, started off amazingly, went a little bit bad. The latest version of Cloud Surfer 7 is back on track. This is basically the trail version of that shoe. So I've been out running for a bit now on my local trails just to get a feel for these shoes get some opinions down to let you guys know what they're like. And I'm really excited to share my thoughts so far. All right then, first off, who is the Cloud Surfer Trail designed for? Who's it targeted at? Well, it didn't take me long to realize that it's gonna be for people who wanna run on very light trails, so nothing too technical. Um, and this is for a few reasons. One being the midsole is quite plush and there is a little bit of roll on there because there's so much cushioning in it. Um, it can collapse in areas that you might not really want on a technical trail. Also the lugs are not the deepest, um, but I'm gonna go into this very shortly later on in this review. So stay with me, stay to the end, you'll find out what's really good about these shoes, what could be improved, my final opinions on whether it's actually worth your money. Let's start off with some of the key statistics for the Cloud Surfer Trail. They cost $160, they fit true to size, so go with your usual sizing. There's a good bit of room in there as well, so if you've got slightly wider feet, um, they should be good for you as well. The lacing system does up really nicely, kind of traditional in style. Um, but it gets, it helps you get a very nice snug fit in the shoes as well. They're using On's Mission Grip for the outsole, which is awesome, super sticky. Love how that works on all terrain. They have a seven millimeter drop from heel to toe. This is interesting because a Cloud Surfer has 10 millimeters. And then finally, they weigh 9.5 ounces, where the Cloud Surfer weighs 8.2. So I would expect the trail version of this shoe to be heavier. It is a trail shoe, there's going to be more protection in the upper, it's going to have to be more durable. Obviously a more aggressive outsole as well, which there is. And for all those reasons, trail running shoes tend to be heavier. Of course you can step into that more exclusive range of the higher end premium trail running shoes, which you can find on trailandkill.com because we review pretty much every running shoe out there. But those shoes do come with a much higher price tag as well. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. And if you're not familiar with Trail & Kale yet, we're a website designed to help you run your best. And that's through our running one one advice, free training plans, and running shoe reviews just like this. Okay, let's get straight into what I really like about the On Cloud Surfer Trail. I'm gonna start with how they feel. It's not particularly a feature or one particular feature. Um, they just feel really nice and snug on your feet. Uh, super lightweight. Um, they feel super lightweight. They're not hugely lightweight on paper, but uh, they do feel light on your feet when you're climbing up hills, like I'm doing right now. Hopefully you can see. I'm not sure if that comes out on camera, but it's quite a climb. And it's going up like so. And the upper is just super plush all the way around the collar and the heel counter around here. It just feels really nice. And I guess that brings me to my second thing that I like, and that's the upper. It's very breathable. You can see my socks through these holes. Um, feels great. Um, very durable as well. And like I said before, the lacing system does a really good job of getting a nice snug fit. The tongue's nice and minimal as well, but there is padding underneath these laces, so it does feel nice on the top of your feet. 
And then at the rear there's actually a nice finger pull to help you slip them on, which is a nice touch from on. Okay, the next thing I really like, now this is a double-edged sword by the way, is the Cloudtech phase midsole. Pretty much the same midsole that you will see on the original Cloud Surface 7, the road version of this shoe. Tons of cushioning. This compresses when you kind of put weight on it. Um, and that gives you really, really nice response and just cushioning for longer distances when you're running. And your feet will really thank you for how that feels over distance. Now there's a double-edged sword and I'll go over why in my uh, things that I feel like could be improved for this shoe in just a moment. And then the final thing I'm gonna mention for what I really like about this shoe is the Mission Grip outsole. The grip is awesome. If you've read or watched my other cloud on cloud trail running shoe reviews, then they all feature in this Mission Grip rubber compound and it's super sticky, really, really delightful to run in. It's super nice, it provides really great traction on most terrain, to be honest. I haven't actually had a slip yet. But again, there could be some improvements to the outsole, and I'll go into that now. So I've set myself up for the things that I feel that like could be improved with the Cloud Surfer Trail then. Now this is interesting because Helen has been testing out the women's version of this shoe, and everyone's gonna find different things that they like or dislike about a shoe. But she has found that she doesn't really like the stability on these shoes. Um, not sure why that is. Uh, it could be where her footfall is when she's running, it's just different to mine. Um, but she finds underneath the heel, it's a bit too plush and it feels rocky, um, like there could be some lateral roll that she said she didn't really want to have on technical terrain. And I can totally understand that. If that's happening to her, she shouldn't be running on technical trails with that shoe, because that could certainly cause an accident. Me, on the other hand, I've actually been quite enjoying the stack height and the cushioning in the Cloudtech midsole. This could be because I'm running trails on my midfoot to forefoot, um, so I'm not feeling that kind of compression under the heel, which is where a lot of that stack height is, and where a lot of the cushioning is as well. So that could be why that's happening. But uh, yeah, like I said, that could be a downside for many people, that there could be too much roll. Um, but you know what? I don't think this shoe is designed for technical trails. It just, it doesn't handle it as well as some other shoes, maybe like the Hoka Speedgoat 5, for example, for a few reasons. One being that high stack height and the, the slight lack of stability. And the other point being the outsole and the lugs. They're just not deep enough. And that really is my second point, is the lugs could be deeper. It will give me more traction in muddy, kind of sloppy med mud surfaces like I've been running in today. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have that. But like I said, I don't think it's designed for that. It's designed for very light trails if you're running in parks, maybe you're running in forests, but not thick mud um, or anything too technical. I just don't think they're designed for that. That pretty much sums up the On Cloud Surfer Trail for me then. I do really like these shoes and I am gonna hang on to them for these nice, easy, buffed, light, hard packed trails because they're super easy to run. They're really enjoyable to run in. Um, I love the cushioning and they feel really lightweight on the climbs as well. So for any easy trails, if I just wanna give my feet a break, um, I'm gonna be picking up these shoes. They're gonna be my recovery trail run shoes from now on. Are they worth the money then? Are they worth $160? Well, I think yes. If you're a runner who wants some trail running shoes for light trails, you want some comfortable, cushy shoes for getting in long miles um, in pure comfort, then these shoes are definitely going to be for you. And I recommend you give them a try. I love what On has done with these shoes. I love the Cloud Surfer and I love the Cloud Surfer Trail. Well, thanks for watching this On Cloud Surfer Trail review. If you did enjoy it, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the trail.